All right, everyone, welcome back to Joe Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to another gear review about gear that did not come out this year. Today, we're gonna to be getting into five reasons why you might consider buying the Osmo Pocket 2 in 2023 for vlogging. With no further ado, let's get into reason one, which has to be the form factor. Look how tiny this little thing is. It is super small. It's got a great form factor and it can fit in your pocket, which when you're talking about vlogging is so, so important. People are always like, oh, just take your biggest camera, best lenses, and you'll get the best vlogs. Well, I mean, yes, you will get the highest quality, but do you always have your big camera with you when you want to capture fun moments? No, 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 no. Probably not. With a camera like this, it's in your pocket. It's super easy to take around with you and you won't miss anything. But let's get on to reason number two. All right, reason number, <laughs> <laughs> reason number two. <laughs> reason number two why you might want this camera is little dogs bark at. Reason number two is the image quality. This camera looks great. There's a few settings you have to get just to make it not look like an action camera when you're first using it. Hasta la vista, baby. Right now you're actually seeing me through it and it just looks stunning. Uh, the biggest thing I would recommend is just make sure that you watch a tutorial on how to get the best settings out of the camera, depending on what your use case is. Maybe it's vlogging, maybe it is using it as an action camera. I'm not sure. And in the comments below, if you'd like me to make a tutorial on how to get the most for vlogging out of this camera, please let me know. Let's get into reason number three. <laughs> All right, guys, the third reason, which might be one of the most important for people that are vloggers, is the idea of a creator combo. Yes, you heard me right. When DJI first launched this camera, they had lots of fun accessories that weren't actually included with the original Pocket One. These two big accessories are the wireless module at the bottom as well as the wireless lav mic. With this module, the camera can now connect to your phone, to the wireless lav mic, and you can even plug in headphones to play back tracks or plug in an external shotgun mic like the one you're hearing me through right now. When you're traveling, having an all around kit that you can just have in your pocket is incredible. And having that picture quality and sound be amazing is just mind blowing. So let's switch to a sample of that with these right now before we get into the fourth and final reason. You're seeing me through that creator combo. I've got the max ISO set at 100. Other than that, everything else is in full auto and I'm using the wireless lav mic. As I'm sure you guys can tell, the sound is great. I use this for a lot of my talking head stuff on this channel. If it's super dark out, obviously I know this camera is not going to crush it. So I use my Z6, but I actually pulled the audio from this. If you're going to be doing that and overdubbing, just make sure you've got your frame rate set to the same on both cameras. But that's enough of me gabbing. Let's get into the fourth and final reason why you might want to consider the Pocket 2 for vlogging in 2023. All right, folks, the fourth and final reason why you might want to consider the Pocket 3 in 2023 for vlogging is the price. The Creator Combo, if you get it used, can sometimes be a real steal on Kijiji, Craigslist, or eBay, depending on where you buy or used cameras. I bought mine with the mic, everything, right around that $300 Canadian mark. You want to know what that is in USD? Look it up. So there you have it. There's a lot of good reasons to own this camera. Um, I know I didn't get into super technical specs, and if you would like to see the technical specs in this camera, check out the description below. I do have a link to DJI's website where you can see the specs, the sensor size, all those good things. As well, if you are just a general filmmaker, there are lots of other good reasons to use this camera. The built-in time-lapse function, the hyperlapsing, all those things are also great tools for creators. My biggest tip would be if you do buy this camera, don't expect it to be a low light beast. It's just not, and that's not what it's designed for. It's a tiny sensor and it's meant for daytime shooting. I, at least, have been super impressed with the quality of the footage coming out of it. But with that, folks, let's leave this one there. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views. Do it for yourself. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.